Hi, I'm Ty here, and I'll be going over the left and right button on the mouse. But first, what is a mouse? A computer mouse is a small handheld device that fits in the palm of your hand, which detects two-dimensional motion relative to a surface. The mouse is a crucial tool for computer users because it allows users to smoothly control the graphical user interface. In short, the mouse allows the user to control the cursor, which permits users to select text, icons, files, and folders on your computer. The average computer mouse has only two buttons, but you may see some that have more than two. The primary buttons are the left and right buttons, which are located at the front of the device. Many of us have heard someone say left click and right click, which is referring to these two buttons. Most mice these days will always have a mouse wheel, which can be used to scroll your screen upwards and downwards. Depending on the mouse, the mouse wheel can be used as a button, but don't worry about that because we won't cover that today. Today we'll be covering the difference between the two primary buttons, the left and the right button. So let's start off by talking about the left button. The left button is your execute button, and by default, your main button. You'll use this to directly interact with files, links, and other screen items. Most tasks can be accomplished solely by using the left mouse button. You can drag items and select text or open files. Here's an example of dragging an item. I'm going to hover over an item and I'm going to push and hold the left mouse button. When you click and hold on an item, it's similar to someone grabbing an item with their hands. After you're done dragging an item to a new location, you'll just release the button. When you release the mouse button, it's like you're releasing it from your grip. Now I'm going to drag each of the remaining files to their designated folder. Now let's talk about double clicking. To open files, most computers are set up where you have to double click on the file. Double clicking involves using the left mouse button and very quickly double clicking on the file. Not all computers are set up this way and a single click would suffice. So for this computer, I have to double click. Double clicking is normally used to open up files and programs. Let's give it a try. I'm going to double click the folder and wait until the folder opens. Now I'm going to double click the image file and wait until the image is open. Single clicking. When single clicking on a file, the file becomes selected. An additional click on the icon will have no effect. But if you click on a name, you'll be able to rename the file. I'm going to single click this file right here. As you can see, it just selected the item by putting a highlight over the icon. Now I'm going to select the icon again, and nothing happened. But if I select the title underneath the icon, then I can rename the file, just like this. OK, so now let's move on to right clicking. So when you right click, it often makes a menu appear that provides choices that can be applied to your current selection or program. For example, if you click on properties, it'll bring up information about the file. You can also rename the file under the menu button. You can delete the file, you can create a shortcut, you can copy, you can cut, you can send the file to a certain location, and there's other options you can do with the menu button. In general, right-clicking gives you additional options that are directed towards your selected file or program. Now, let's see the difference when you right-click on files, folders, and programs. Right-click on the file. Now, right-click on the folder. Finally, right-click on the desktop. Right-clicking your desktop background allows you to modify the desktop. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on more tech-friendly videos.